Hello, today we're going to show you how to make a homemade clinometer using simple supplies that you can find around your home. And basically a clinometer is a tool used to measure the height of trees. So today we're going to use the clinometer as well as a simple math equation to show you how this works. There's only a few items that you need for your DIY clinometer. The first being a protractor, a straw, some tape, some string about seven inches long or a little bit longer, and something to weigh down your string. In this case, we're going to be using a clip. So the first step that you wanna do when you're building your clinometer is take your protractor and face it this way. So the bottom is facing up. You're gonna to wanna to take your piece of string and attach it to the bottom of the protractor like here, right along the ridge here with a piece of tape. So you're gonna take the piece of tape like this, and tape the string and make sure the tape isn't restricting the movement of the string and it can swing freely and it's centered along the protractor. So the next step is fastening our straw to the top of our protractor. And you wanna keep in mind, you don't wanna do it on the flat side, you wanna do it right on that ridge on top. So using some of our tape, we want to secure our straw into place and we're using two pieces of tape today or you can use as many as you need to make sure that that straw isn't moving anywhere and it's in the middle of our protractor, just like so. So for our very last step with making the clinometer, we basically wanna have a weight to weigh down our string. So in this case, we're using a little clip and what we're gonna do is just clip it to the bottom of the string and you have your clinometer. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're outside before you even begin using your clinometer is measure where you are from the base of the tree. Using a measuring tape like we did, you're going to want to measure from where your feet are to the base of the tree. In our case, we got 15.6 meters. Okay, so to use the clinometer, what you're going to do is you're going to want to point the straw to the top of the item that you're measuring and close one eye like this. As you can see, the clinometer hits 50 degrees. Okay, so another thing that you're going to need to do is measure what your eyesight height is. So to do this, take a measuring tape that you use to measure the base of the tree to where you're standing and stand on it like this at the zero and you're going to measure where your eyesight height is. So for instance, for me, it is 1.6 meters. The angle that we got when we were measuring using our clinometer outside was 50 degrees. You're actually going to subtract 50 degrees from 90 degrees to give you the angle that you're going to use in your equation. In this case, this will give us 40 degrees. So now comes the hard part, making sense of your results. So it's easiest to draw a diagram like we have here. For us, using a measuring tape, we measured the base of the tree for where we're standing and our result was 15.6 meters. And that is what's shown at the bottom of the triangle diagram. Next, you're going to input 40 degrees, which we just calculated, into the diagram as well. Using this diagram, you're going to solve for x. This is the equation that we're going to use to solve for x. Tan 40 degrees equals x over 15.6 meters. 40 degrees is the angle that we just calculated, and 15.6 meters is the distance from where we're standing to the base of the tree. We're going to rearrange this formula to make it make more sense. So we're going to change it to x equals tan in brackets 40 degrees, close brackets, 15.6 meters. Then you're going to type that into your calculator and you're going to get a measurement of 13.09 meters. However, we're not done here. You're actually going to have to add your eye height as well because you're not starting from the base of your feet. You're actually starting from your eye height where you're measuring. It's going to be 13.09 meters plus your eye height. In this case, we said our eye height is 1.6 meters. So it's going to be 13.09 meters plus 1.6 meters, giving you a final tree height of 14.69 meters.